Hey guys, just a quick video showing how you can hook up an Xbox 360 wide controller to a Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 7.0 tablet. Um, I sort of learnt a little bit off the internet, but it was a bit of trial and error, so I thought I'd just shoot a quick video. So if anyone else is trying to do the same thing, they can uh, hopefully get some help from this video on how to, how to do it. So obviously you need um, the tablet, uh, wired Xbox 360 controller just with the standard USB connector on the other end and the last thing you need is what's called an OTG cable it's an on the go cable for only a few bucks it just allows you to connect a USB um, device into this end female connector end and then it's got the standard um, Samsung connector on the other end so you just need to go ahead plug the controller into the OTG cable like so, plug this into the tablet. Cool. Now, once you've done that, you will get the lights flashing, which basically means the um, the stock operating system on the tablet, which is Ice Cream Sandwich, doesn't recognize the controller. So to get around that, there's um, an app on the Play Store called USB BT Joystick Center. You may have heard of it. I'll just zoom in a bit there so you can see it a bit better. There we go. So you need to start that up. And the function of this is it will recognize the Xbox 360 controller. Okay, so it's come up on the screen there. You can see that. Yep, Xbox 360 controller. Tap on that. And now there's only uh, one light, a steady light on the controller. So it's basically recognized it. It's connected to the tablet okay. Um, the other thing this bit of software does is a lot of games won't recognize the controller itself. So you have to map the, uh, the virtual joystick functions in a game to the controller itself. And you'll have to get that information from from the web but what I'll do in the description I'll put the um, the mapping that you have to do for the dead trigger game so I've already mapped dead trigger and what you can do is you can save um, I'll just zoom out a bit there down here there's an import export feature so you, once you set up some key mapping for a game you can export it and then conversely you can import it again Again, so I'll just import the key mapping for Dead Trigger. The other thing you have to do is turn on IME so that um, so that the Android operating system um, recognizes input from the controller. And then if we go into settings, where are we settings? Um, if you go down to language and input you'll see there's a USB joy IME option you have to make sure that is checked which it has been I've already done that and then basically you're all ready to go so we'll go into the dead trigger game now okay close that we'll start the game up So I've mapped the movement um, to the two thumbsticks um, to look around and, and move forward, backwards, etc. And I've mapped the, the fire button to the right trigger and aiming down sight to the left trigger. So I'll just show you quickly how, how it looks when it's all done. So here you go. You can see me moving backwards and forwards. Here I'll just zoom out a bit so you can see the controller as well. Move left and right, spin around, and then aim down sight, shoot some baddies, and there you go. So yeah, that's basically it. There's a bit of bit of work setting it up, but like I say, once you've mapped the um, done the key key mapping for a certain game you can save it and then you just import it again so it is a bit of mucking around but um, 
the only way I found you can get the Xbox 360 Y controller working on the Galaxy Tab 2. Um, other tablets um, seem to work straight away as soon as you plug in the controller they will um, recognize the controller straight away but I believe like in the case of the Nexus 7 that's because it's running um, Jelly Bean operating system and it, um, and it recognizes it straight away. The other thing I should point out is I haven't had to root this um, the device at all so it's just a standard tab 2 with the stock ice cream sandwich operating system. Um, so the only things you need are the OTG cable and downloading the USB BT joystick center software and then apart from that you, you should be all ready to go. So if you got any questions just um, leave them in the comments section uh, if you want a bit more detail about something um, that I didn't cover in depth in the video just just sing out or uh, I'll see if I can help you. Okay cheers guys thanks.